What's good with you? You already know it's your boy Too Easy, and we back with another one. Look, 2K25 is here. It's official. How y'all feeling about it, man? Is y'all is y'all rocking with it? Is y'all willing to learn? You feel me? Is you willing to keep up with this game to see if you get better, or is the game trash? I don't know. I'm just getting to it. Um, and I think I'm 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 locked in. Matter of fact, I know I'm locked in. I'm finna be here for the long run this year. I'm really finna push it to the limit. You feel what I'm saying? There's too much in this game for a streamer, a content creator like me to fail. I'm not finna let it happen, but I don't wanna hold y'all. Today, this video, I'm gonna show you a few things that you wanna do before you go out there and hit the park to be the best version of yourself when it comes to settings, when it comes to certain things you need to do in the park to make sure you're well equipped to go out there and streak up. You feel me? So hit that like button, turn on post notifications, and let's get to it so first thing first you want to go to your settings in the main menu um and change this to hall of fame if i catch you playing on anything else but hall of fame i'm gonna slap you upside the back of your head nah but this really don't matter unless you play in my career what really matters in here is you want to make sure that your um your motion blur is turned all the way down to zero you do not need motion blur that is going to give you some lag, some input lag, you don't need it. The next thing that you're gonna want to make sure is off. If you do have lag or any latency is turn off crossplay. Right now I have it on because I wanna experience it. I wanna see how it works out. Um, just because they had the new finder where you could pick up games and stuff with randoms and all of that. So next thing you wanna do is go over to your controller settings, turn vibration off. You shouldn't be playing with vibration unless you wanted them wild freaky but wait, hey, that's between you and you. But trigger effect, I leave trigger effect on for the fact that um, it reminds me that I'm running out of stamina or my stamina needs to recover. So you can turn it off or turn it on, uh, leave it on however you want to play. And shot timing profile is going to be at high risk rewards. You know this is going to give you green or miss, but it gives you a higher um, percentage chance when it comes to greening your shots. Uh, don't put on real player percentage because you're trash if you do i'm sorry however when it comes to timing your layup because people have been smoking wild wide open layups you might want to put real player percentage or at least low risk somewhere in there until you get your your rating up on your um your layup so you don't miss them wide open but if you don't care put that on high risk reward too so you can go ahead and time that joint properly free throws using timing uh this really don't matter because you get to adjust it in the um, jump shot creator. Shot meter, input type, pro stick only. Just so when you do use the stick, pause, you do get to see your shot meter when it comes to you um, doing those certain particular moves out of your dribble. Pro stick function on default, pro stick orientation, absolute. Both of those are absolute. Um, there's another one in here, skip pass. For me, I'm one that sometimes i so save time on pulling up your icons i'll hold the pass button in the direction to the person that's most open and it'll get the ball there so it says determine if you want to hold down the primary pass button to target a receiver further away this is if you're trying to pass it on the other side of the court it's worked for me so far if you have not tried it give it a try if you don't like it disable it and from there i think that's it from here maybe a few more pro stick defense on absolute um yeah i believe that's it when it comes to the settings now you're gonna want to come over to the gatorade facility this one is fly it's outside it's on the beach you feel me shout out venice beach i don't know if y'all been there before but that's one of the beaches out in california this is where you're gonna want to come first you want to want to come to the punching bags it's easy not too hard you feel me i had to try it out i thought we was going to be fading each other but it's cool we doing a little bag work so all you're going to have to do is make sure that you move your left stick over to the area before it times it out and press the correct button and you will get the credit for it it's super easy not too hard um it's pretty dope that 2k added this they should allow you to fight you feel me if somebody sells you you should be able to catch the fade and then you get the rep or you get something that says you won that fight. You feel what I'm saying? But after this, you're gonna go ahead and do what we usually do in a Gatorade facility, treadmill, um, the ladders, and I like to do the squats because it's easy or whatever you think is easy for you, you want to go ahead and accomplish those workouts so you can get 
um, the numbers towards your un unique workouts. You have to complete 12 of them. And each time you do one, it's going to boost up your stamina to a certain amount because, you know, we all start off with 85 stamina. I believe like in a week or two or two weeks, you should be able to have 99 stamina. And then you're good on the stamina aspect aspect and you do get your body types and all of that same thing as last year or whatnot so this is step two now let's go over and see what we're gonna do next i ain't gonna hold you 2k did kd wrong putting them on the side of that building like that look how they <laughs> they tripping hey but look next we're going to go over to the street ball courts we're going to the temple and this is where, just like last year, you're going to be able to get your badge progression. You're going to be able to level up. Uh, more importantly, you want to get your hotspots. That's what we're here for. We're kind of going to be mixing together two methods. Um, of course, you're going to want to talk to a boy. You're going to want to work, walk over to the board. And this first dude, you really want to pick Steve. You can run against Velvet. I did that because it coincides with a different method to be able to get more XP to level up your mod player. But really, you want to go against Steve because they're weaker. There's smaller players over there. When you run against these cats, you finna see why. Because I didn't know this. And these cats is demigods. So when you step onto the court, it's the same thing as last year, 2K24. You're going to skip this, of course, and then you're going to want to play the game, set your screens, call for the ball, shoot the three, hit the step back, shoot the three. Don't be like me. I was clunking. I was missing. Super trash. Um, yeah. What you really want to do is wait, probably level up your character a little bit, probably go to my career, or like I said, pick Steve, go against the shortest dude because you're going to be frustrated. You're really going to be frustrated. So make sure you time your shots because you don't want to get cold spots in here. You want to get your hot spots, at least three of them. And then after you're done with that, you're going to head over to the next method in this video. So now that you got your hot spots, as you can see, I got three up top. And on the wings, because that's where I like to shoot, you're going to head over to the Lethal Shooting Gym, the Art of Shooting. And this year, it's a little different. I got three because if you challenge Lethal Shooter, you're going to be able to get three hot spots or lethal spots that last for three weeks. So each category is going to be one you get for one week, which gives you one lethal spot two weeks gives you two lethal spots and then the three weeks gives you three lethal spots that's how long they last um and they go up in difficulty so i ain't gonna hold you i was trying i was like at first i don't know if i'm gonna just wait or if i'm gonna do the one or the two but i said man forget it for the sake of this video we going with the three we're gonna go with three and we're gonna face a lethal shooter to see if we can do it and boy let me tell you was i missing was i disappointed in myself overall i think it's a lot of rng going on so what i would do i would get my badges i would stay in uh the street courts get some of your badges unless you feel like you can time you at that custom but if not boy you gonna be sick you feel what i'm saying you're definitely definitely gonna be sick because he's not playing he come to shoot and i'll be missing i'm talking about missing left and right slightly early slightly late i don't know what to do i don't know what to tell you i don't know how to help you all i can say is you could try as you can see i quit ended it just to see if the method worked which it does you can if you fail you can quit come back and then try again i tried i ain't gonna tell you how many times i tried but i didn't crash out and I actually settled for the two. And I still only got one hot spot. I don't know, bro. And I hope it don't last for two weeks. I think that one lethal spot gonna last for two weeks. And that's a GG right there. You feel me? I was out here till it was nighttime. But this is the method. This is what you want to do. You want to go ahead, do these three things. Make sure your settings are correct. Go ahead, hit that, that workout facility, the Gatorade. Then you want to go ahead and get some lethal spots, some hot spots, so you could come over and get the legal lethal spots. And then you will be official. You feel me? Go ahead, get some Gatorade, some jump shot boost, do what you got to do. And um, 
you ready to be on the court and become the number one in the city. But let me know how you feel about this method. Let me know if this is something that you didn't know, something you're going to use or try. And if you're trying to run, hit me up, man. I'm always looking for uh, people to create content with. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. You already know. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notice. It's your boy Too Easy. See you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.